I'm Bob. And I'm Herb. And we're The Answer Guys. We're here to answer your questions about God and the Bible. Today's question comes from Tina, who lives in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Well, which is it? Huh? Indiana or Pennsylvania? Both. Indiana is the name of a town in the state of Pennsylvania. Is Pennsylvania the name of a town in Indiana? It doesn't matter. Let's hear a question. Next, you're going to try and tell me there's a Paris, Texas or something like that. So, okay, like whenever I have to do a book report at school, I have to write down who the author was, you know, who wrote the book. So, okay, then, like, who wrote the Bible? I got this one, Herb. It's very simple. Angels. Angels, Bob? Yes, Herb. Angels. They're like a bunch of heavenly reporters. They were flying around, taking notes on everything that happened. Then they wrote it all up nice and pretty, sent it off to their editor, and bammo! You've got yourself a Bible. Next question. Bob, that's not right. What are you talking about? The Bible was written by people, ordinary people, like shepherds, doctors, tax collectors, and even kings. But they all had one thing in common. They were inspired by God. <laughs> inspired by God? Yeah, right. And Paris really is in Texas. In 2 Timothy 3.16 it says, All scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Oh, and there really is a Paris in Texas. There is? I mean, see, I told you. God-breathed means God said it to the writers, and then they wrote it down for all of us. I knew it all along. Well, I hope that answers your question, Tina from Pennsylvania, Indiana. It's Indiana, Pennsylvania. Or maybe it was Montana, Pennsylvania. That's all we have time for. Or could it be Oklahoma, South Dakota? See you next time with more with The Answer Guys. Missouri, California.
Now, where's those seeds? Elmer! Elmer! Careful, Ralph! Don't step on the... Oh, you okay, Ralph? I'll be fine, as soon as the two of you hold still. What are you doing out here, Elmer? I'm planting the garden. Uh, would you mind moving over that way a little, Ralph? You're stomping all over my... my... well, I can't even tell what it was anymore. It's all trampled. Oh, I guess whatever it was, now it's gonna be squash. Well, don't step in the potatoes. I don't want to mash. Hey, what was you hollering about, Ralph? Hollering? Oh, I'm so excited. Today I did what the Bible says to do. Oh, well how's that, Ralph? I was kind. You were kind? Yep. Remember the verse we read at Devotion this morning? The one from Ephesians? You mean, be kind to each other? Uh-huh. Well, today I went over to the orphanage and was kind to all the little kids there. You were? Yep. I patted them each on the head and told them I was sorry they were so poor and didn't have moms and dads to love them. And then? And then what? Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? What could be kinder than that? I don't think you quite understand, Ralph. Being kind is more than just feeling sorry for folks. It is? Yeah. See, the word we read as kind really means, well, helpful or useful. Oh, yeah? Who says? That's what the Greek says. The Greek? You mean Mr. Papadopoulos down at the Delicatessen? No, no, Ralph. I mean the Greek language in my New Testament. Look, Elmer, since God went to all the trouble to have the Bible written in English, don't you think we should read it that way and stay away from all those strange translations? But, Ralph, the Bible wasn't written in English. Sure it was. I've got one in the house. I'll show you. No, Ralph. I'm sure your Bible's in English. What I meant was that when the Apostle Paul actually wrote the letter to the Ephesians, he wrote it in Greek. He did? Uh-huh. And the word kind that Paul wrote really means good and useful. What does that mean, Elmer? It means that feeling sorry for somebody is fine, but you're not really being kind unless you do something for them. Well... I did pat them on the head. Yeah, I guess that's something, Ralph. But couldn't you think of anything else? I guess I could have taken over some clothes, or blankets, or maybe some toys. But I just didn't think of it. Well, Ralph, I think I have an idea to help you remember from now on. Being kind is a thing that should be on your mind. It's a way that you can show you care anywhere. Listen and you'll find. When you try, you can learn to be a helpful guy. If you take the time to understand, lend a hand, smiles will multiply. Be gentle and sweet to people you meet. Be helpful the whole day through. It shouldn't feel like you're doing what God wants us all to do. Life is good when you're treating others like you should. If you really have the Lord within, you'll begin being kind. So you see, Ralph, kindness is more than just saying nice things and hoping nice things for folks. It's doing things for them that you know they need. Oh, I think I understand now, Elmer. Here, let me sing with you. Okay. When you try, you can learn to be a helpful guy. If you take
take the time to understand when the hand smiles will multiply life is good when you're treating others like you should if you really have the Lord within you'll be You know, Ralph, if you'd like to do something else for those kids, you can help me grow some vegetables for them here in my garden. Oh, goody! But, Elmer, don't you think they'll get all dirty out here? Why don't we grow them in big bins, like at the supermarket? Well, I think I'd better explain something to you, Ralph. What's that? The Lord makes me want to shout, pick my hands up and shout, throw my hands up and shout, throw my head back and shout, come on now, shout and get to praise the Lord. Shout and get to praise, yeah, yeah. Shout and get to praise, yeah, 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 yeah, yeah. Then 
And they brought him, and they brought him, yes, they brought him to the Lord, and probably wondered what the small amount could do. But they took out, he took out his little lunch and said, It isn't much, but I'll give it to you. Then Jesus fed five thousand men with women and kids, there were thousands more. Yes, he's the one who fed five thousand men with five loaves to fish, and that's all. Five thousand men with women and kids, there were thousands. 